so it's a 2012 f550 because everything i do about everything is always ford f550s um having a warning indicator for low oil pressure keeps coming up it's uh intermittent and sort of erratic uh, it was just on a minute ago right when we started it and uh we shut it off and then i started it again it didn't come on i drove it over here it didn't come on but it, it keeps coming on intermittently so i'm going to just try to fire an oil pressure switch at it and see if that is the problem um, our cost was 13 dollars on this so it's not like i'm investing a a ton of money into it to rule it out is a part number i got this from advance auto um i'll show you where this is and we'll put it in all right so this should be the oil pressure switch right here Let me try to get it out okay that is not it I don't know where they keep it. Oh, I think it's on the front side of this one. All right, so wedged in here. That's gonna stink. I don't think I can get a. I don't think I can get a socket on that. Actually, be nice. That would be easy if I didn't have this oil filter on here. Well, anyway, let's uh. Let's try to all right let's try to get this off here's our wire there's a single pin so we got oil in there so that sensor is leaking um you can see the oil all over it too so Kind of another sign that it's probably bad. So, let's uh, pull this out if I can. I'm using a 21 millimeter wrench that I don't think I can get on to any part of it. Ah, that's not too bad. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to take the air gun and I'm going to blow all that debris off of there so I don't have to worry about it kind of getting into there. It's nice that this is really hot. It goes to show it'll run up for a while. It's kind of another thing that would lead me to believe that it's not the oil pump is that it's not knocking or anything. So I think we're gonna get a pretty big gush of oil out of this. I don't know how I'm gonna Maybe do that. Get a finger over it. You're probably not going to see anything.
I'll just tighten her up. This, this thread sealant already on the sensor. It's tightening up now, so I'll probably get it turned till I get it lined up and just plug it in. Goes around there. Plug this back in, click. So I'll start it up, see if the light comes on. Uh, he told me it just came on this morning when we started it and it stayed on. Um, but being it's an intermittent problem, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is what will solve the problem just because of you know the oil inside the sensor. It was obviously leaking, so I think it was damaged or bad. And it was oil on the outside of it too. So I said, I'm pretty sure that this is what the problem's gonna be. Also, the engine's not wasn't knocking and it's it doesn't seem to have oiling problems. But I guess it could be a wire from that sensor shorting out or grounding out. I'm not exactly sure which way the switch works, if it's all the way always closed or always open. say it doesn't appear we got the oil light the oil light would be right here on the on the right just a little oil oil can comes up and it goes ding 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 but anyway so i'll go check for leaks and pretty much that's that so i'm pretty sure that on the newer trucks the oil pressure sensor is going to be right here and not on the front side this is a 2012 so, but I think, like I said, I'm pretty sure I've, I've seen them on the right there, on the newer ones. I'm not just exactly sure which year it changed, but if you don't have it on the front, it'll be on the back right there.